is James from Squid Gaming with another Portal 2 authoring tools tutorial and today I'm going to start on some of the cool sort of fun stuff. I know I've been sort of focusing a lot on the sort of very basic simple stuff but that was just so people that had never used Hammer before could just sort of get used to it. But now we've gone through the basic stuff you can do in this uh, Portal 2 Hammer uh, authoring tools. I can now do some of the cool stuff like lasers, um, excursion funnels, um, all that stuff. So I'll start quickly. Um, simplest is probably the, um, the acid water that you can fall into which will kill you if you touch it. So first go into your materials browser and type in toxic into the filter and select nature slash toxic slime 002a um, I think the other ones work but this is just the one that I used and it looks perfectly good and I see I've built a uh, little pit here already which you can so just do that on your map. I'll post the map up later if you want it. And press enter. You now have a um, pit of toxic slime stuff, which when you render it, or when you run and compile the map, will be animated and just look like in the game. Uh, next, you want to change your scale so it is a tiny bit smaller than what it just was and go to your materials browser again and go trigger and select the trigger one and draw basically inside that slime up to so just below the surface which is why you made the scale one smaller so it's not perfectly in line and press enter. Now while you have that selected press control T to turn it into an entity and type in hurt into the class and select the trigger underscore hurt and apply and set the damage to 100 and click apply. This means now that it'll do 100 damage per second if you fall in there. And so that's how the slime is made. Uh, next, uh, we'll go lasers, which is fairly simple. Uh, entity create one. And um, type in laser into the class, and you want the uh, env underscore portal laser and click apply you'll have it here now you can place that however you want it looks better in some places than in others I'm just going to put it into the wall here just to show you so just drag that until it's sticking out like that and that will now shoot a laser when you run the map and you then want a catcher so create another entity, I'll just do it right next to it, so it make a huge difference. And type in laser again, and you want the prop underscore laser underscore catcher. And click apply. And do the same thing, just sort of recess that into the wall like so. Now you have the, um, the laser, sh and when that shoots into here, this will act just like a button, just add the same sort of outputs and inputs you had in the button and it will do exactly the same thing. So, you know, fairly simple there, just go to my button tutorial and copy that, say if you wanted to open a door, exactly the same except with a catcher laser instead of a button. So that's um, very, very simple. Also, if you want to make the uh, little cubes, the um, ones that redirect lasers 
just type in cube here and get the prop weighted cube and click apply and then go to cube type and here you can have standard companion reflective sphere and antique antique is the underground style one sphere is the edgeless one that rolls around and reflective is the one we want so now it doesn't change in the game in hammer but when you compile the game that will be a reflective cube and lastly just quickly we will do the um, what's it called the excursion funnel that's the one so type in tractor or tractor beam and go the prop underscore tractor underscore beam and click apply and if you go close to it this is what it looks like um, you want to just rotate that around so it's sticking out of the wall now this is kind of uh, tricky to get to look sort of good you want to put the right thing behind it and all that just check out the uh, example maps to see how they set it into the floor into a wall or something and just sort of copy that style that's fairly basic and for this um, it has a linear force of 250 which means that when you go into the outputs uh, sorry the inputs and when you have a button I'll just make one now and you want to press a button to make it change direction go to this button's outputs sorry you need to name this first Oops name beam and so you want the outputs you want on pressed the beam to set linear force to minus 250 which is the inverse of what it is normally and then also on unpressed you want it to return to 250 so exactly the same but with a positive 250 and click apply so that's basically it we now have lasers acid water and an excursion funnel and a reflective cube so we'll just go run and compile this map and let's see what it looks like Okay, so back in the map, just go over to your thing, and there we go, look at that. We have, oh, this didn't turn into a reflective cube, that's strange. I'll go back and fix that. We have this, which is the tractor beam, and reverses when we hop onto it. And we have the laser, which, there we go, good aim, which will activate this. And of course we have the uh, tractor beam. Now we can uh, test the tractor beam with laser and this. There's the cube floating off there. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. Everyone loves doing uh, good old fun stuff. Who doesn't love lasers, tractor beams, and oh yes, and slime pit. Uh, you see, this is what it looks like. Almost forgot about this. See, it's got uh, the reflection of the tractor beam, which is quite nice, and it looks very nice. And if I hop in it dying 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 and dead and when you click you will come back to your 
map with everything uh, reset. So just like the game, don't have to do anything special to make yourself respawn. So that is nice. So this has been James from Squid Gaming. I uh, hope you learned something, and I'll see you soon. Bye.